In this first scenario, we'll be coming in as an anonymous shopper and just asking a question about whether they offer free shipping. And this is purely a scripted response. And you'll see that we get the response back about a free shipping promotion on orders over $70. Once that question has been answered, the chatbot will actually prompt whether or not that answered your question or whether you'd like information on more promotions. So if we click what other promotions are available, the chatbot will actually use the promotions API of HCL Commerce itself and return back a text description of all of the current promotions that are active. In the next scenario, the chatbot will leverage the eMarketing Spot APIs to personalize product recommendations based on whether or not the customer has a specific product in their shopping cart or not. To begin, we'll go ahead and log into the storefront as our registered user and we'll click sign in. And then the user will ask the chatbot to show them some recommended products. In this example, there is nothing in the shopping cart currently and we'll return back a generic product recommendation. Next what we'll do is we'll browse over to the decoration category under living room and add in the accent mirror product to our cart. We'll then reissue the same question and leveraging the eMarketing Spot API, we will actually personalize the product recommendation to be a different product. In this scenario, our customer is having a struggle on the site, so they'll ask the chatbot for assistance and they'll be prompted whether or not they want to be connected to a representative. Then they'll be notified that the representative will be informed of the request to chat You'll see in Teams that the agent can see the product page that they're on and they can either accept or reject the conversation. At this point, they can start using Teams to answer the customer's inquiry by greeting the customer, for example, and then typing a simple message to find out what it is that they need assistance with. Once they send the message through Teams, you'll be able to see the conversation also on the storefront itself from the customer's point of view. You'll also notice that it gives the customer the name of the agent that they're working with, as well as the message that they sent. And then the customer can begin a full conversation back and forth with the customer using the chatbot and in this case, Teams for the conversation itself. Once the conversation's finished, the agent can click end live chat and the conversation will officially be closed. On the storefront, you'll see a farewell message hoping that the interaction went well.